Hello, FPV pilots. This is Smooth Virus, call sign Virus. This is the brand new Finwing Saber, which uh, you'll soon be able to um, get and add to your hangar. So, full disclosure, this kit was sent to me by Finwing for me to review. It's the basic kit. So, they didn't send me any electronics with it. All the electronics that are installed in this model are all mine. This is a lot bigger airplane than the previous Finwing model I had, the Finwing Penguin. It's a 1900 millimeter wingspan, so it's large. This is, this is a big plane. Um, when I built it, I did notice that they, they made some improvements vis-a-vis uh, -vis the Penguin. One of the weak points on the Penguin is the tail boom. Now, in the Penguin, they just have a, a wood piece that goes through the boom here. And on my Penguin, I actually added a carbon fiber rod to strengthen that. So what Finwing has done is they've added two fairly thick carbon fiber strips in the boom here, inside. So this is very sturdy, and they actually run all the way up to about here. So this is gonna be a lot stronger than the uh, tail boom I was on the Penguin. There's also an additional small carbon fiber strip here and here. This is actually a joint, so they can get the uh, model in a pretty small box. So overall, this is a nice streamlined design. Uh, it looks to me to be a lot sportier than the Penguin is. The Penguin's almost a glider. It's, it's basically a trainer, very forgiving. This has flaps, actually. It has flaps, and I'm really happy about that. Um, so that should enable this aircraft to get in, out of, in and out of some short fields. Uh, just like anybody who flies in Virginia or Maryland can tell you, this area, a lot of times when we're coming in the land, you're coming in over trees, so you've got to make a steep approach down to the runway and flaps, especially with a model as heavy as this one is, it's really something that you can use. So on this model, what I've done is I put the video transmitter and the UHF receiver in the wing. And this is, Finley's provided spots for that for you. This is the video transmitter here. And the UHF receiver. How do I hold this? The UHF receiver is up under here, right there. So for a video transmitter, I use the ready-made 800 milliwatt, 1.2 gigahertz video transmitter. And for UHF control, we've got a easy UHF eight channel light receiver. Now I'm actually using this with uh, PPM, so I'm getting 12 channels out of it. The power system is gonna be a Scorpion S2302890. And I put a Zor 11 by six PJN electric Prop, which is made out of beechwood, so it's pretty cool looking. So I think Finwing intends for this to be a, a long duration flying model. Uh, it should be able to stay up quite a while. So to get it to balance, I had to put two 4S 4000 milliamp hour batteries in the nose to get it to balance properly on the center of gravity. The flight controller that we're using in this aircraft is going to be the Eagle Tree Vector. That's our flight controller in OSD. And I've placed the GPS receiver for the vector right here on the canopy. Uh, Finwing actually has this spot for a uh, video transmitter, and you can put the video transmitter there, but I elected to put my GPS receiver in this spot. So one other thing I've noticed uh, that's kind of different from the Penguin is they've used a, a better quality linkage on this model. Uh, the linkage that came with the Penguin had a lot of slop in it, which, since the Penguin flies so slow, kind of doesn't matter, but on this, it's, it's pretty tight. So I think this is gonna be a lot faster airplane. Also, this wing is solid foam. It's really solid. It's actually quite heavy. Um, this plane, you're looking at seven to nine pounds. So this is gonna be a heavy plane. And you definitely, I think you're definitely gonna want flaps. And I would advise going with a 4S power system on this aircraft rather than a 3S. 3S is just going to be too anemic. So the camera system I'm using right now is the Finwing Mini Pan and Tilt. Uh, the camera I actually put in here had a plastic case, but it turned out the plastic case was too large. So I actually had to modify it a little bit to get it to fit inside the Mini Pan and Tilt. But um, it's all working. Now, the one thing 
I did have to do is I had to drill a hole for the cables for the mini pan and tilt. I kind of wish Finley had left a little channel there for us to uh, route the cables through, but I drilled a hole, it works, that's fine. All right, so I'll throw some specs up for you guys to see so you can uh, get the specifications on this aircraft. All right, so I think that's everything you're probably gonna need to know uh, before we get flying. So, um, yeah, I can't wait to fly this. So, uh, let's get out and fly this uh, brand new plane. the sound to it. everybody that was a successful maiden flight of the fin wing saber i think that was probably the second flight in the united states of this month so pretty cool um it flies very well i'm very happy uh it'll go fast it'll go slow i uh did some slow passes with the flaps down and it did fine um trimmed out glided just fine all it required was a little bit of uh, right aileron trim. And other than that, I really didn't uh, do anything. Landing was just fine. It, I put the flaps all the way down. It floats right on in and uh, just greased a really nice slow landing. 
Uh, I came in on the tail. I'm a little worried about popping up on the nose. I put my uh, pedo tooth in the nose. So I'm trying to avoid hitting that. Also, in the future, we're gonna be flying with the uh, GoPro up there. So we definitely don't wanna come down on that. I'm gonna to wanna to get uh, landing gear on this as soon as uh, Finwing makes that available. Uh, I did have a, another fella here at the club hand launch it for me, so thanks for that. Thanks to Tony for launching my uh, saber here. And uh, I did get a little scuff on the bottom. So if you're not going to use landing gear, you're, gonna, you're definitely going to want to use the, uh, the shield that Finwing's going to be selling. Or just, I'm going to put some packing tape on there until, uh, until I can get the uh, landing gear from Finwing. But uh, whew, I can relax now. Uh, the plane has been made in. Um, the only possible issue I had was I did notice the motor got not like super hot, but it was hot. I mean, it was, I could touch it, but it was hot. Uh, on my Penguin, that motor never gets hot. So this is an 11 by six prop. I might prop it down to 11 by five. It might be all right, you know, we'll see. Uh, I'll ask some of the motor experts what they think. But uh, great first flight. Um, I'm always super nervous for maiden flights, but this one went very well. And uh, so the next step, and the next thing you'll be seeing, is going to be uh, FPV flight. Now, I wasn't able to save any of the uh, save any of the uh, FPV footage because I'm having a problem with my uh, my DVR. But that's okay. We'll get that fixed. And uh, the next thing you guys are going to see. It's going to be a FPV flight of the Finwing Sabre.